I wish you told me how much time I have to record, but anyway, I'm working on one of these Honda GCV 160 or 190s on a Craftsman. Um, this one, actually it works, it's just got a bad gas tank. It's a good engine. There are always good engines. This is the first time I'm having this issue, so I will show you what the issue is. Normally, it's just a, bit, a dirty carburetor, right? Which I did have that. Took care of that issue. And then, um, broken rocker arm. And I noticed the valve cover had been pried open. Just somebody messed up and adjusted that wrong. See, so that's off. That's how it works, okay? This one's off. But look how easy it comes off of here. So when I saw it was that easy, I said, you know what? I'll just grab another one. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And readjust the spec, and it should run. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, then that one's going on. Or that one with this cover, I guess. So let's see how this works out. Yeah, so like I said, this is a good engine. It's just, it's already had a few parts taken off of it, too. It's just got a bad gas tank. But fuel line's gone. And uh, that cover is gone. And there's uh, one other piece is missing. But this, this is the older manual style um, choke. So, but the car rear itself, the ball's a little bit different, but that doesn't matter. So... But I have a few of these, and this is the one I started taking parts from, so I might as well take it from this one. I said, is it possible this could be different? Because it says OHC, and the newer ones say Honda, but I doubt it. They've been making these engines forever. They still are. So, let me just get that cover off. Okay, you guys are getting the conclusion. The conclusion is... That valve is not opening and closing all the way. I don't know what caused it to do that. I think there's a, obviously a push rod behind that that's supposed to make it do it. And it's not. Okay? So I don't know what caused this to get cracked and for that valve to not open all the way. It looks like probably either it wasn't adjusted properly or something. Um... You know, this being over adjusted, put pushed the valve too far in and bent the push rod. It's fix it's fixable. You know. One new one of these, but you would have to open the motor and replace the push rod in there. And I'm not doing it right now. I don't have time. So this engine's coming right up and off. And then that one's going on. That one's actually a little bit newer. Just gonna swap the cover. It's just the more stylish modern cover. And this is the more flanked round cover. And that's it. I've got two on pressure washers. I'm sure those are short shafts that had bad pumps. I had that one extra. And I had that one. And I'm pretty sure I have a two or three in a pile in the garage too. So between them all. But anyway, this one's coming up all the way right off. Because I'm not going to. First of all, you would have to take it off to crack it in half anyway. And if it's coming off, that's it. That one's going directly on. That one will end up probably be, being the parts motor. And which will save that one. Because that one's still good. That one's still rant. And that's it. Boom. So that's how we're going to run this. Alright guys. So uh, if anybody has any idea as to how this rocker arm got cracked. Or how the push rod behind that valve got busted. I'd like to hear your thoughts or if you've experienced before what caused it. I'm guessing because he, the guy had it open that he adjusted it improperly. Although he could have been op opened it to try to fix it and simply wasn't able to. And something else caused it. An impact, right? But this valve works perfectly. This one doesn't. So that's the story there. If anybody knows why that happened, let me know. It's the first time for me. 
and I've had lots of these motors as the first time. Okay? All right, guys, thanks. In fact, I think that's the first time I've ever had to open up the valve cover on one of them. All right, thanks, guys. It had spark. It had fuel. Okay. It just didn't have... It, it doesn't have... can't have compression because one of the valves isn't opening and closing. So... Well, either way, if that's... I'm not sure which... Okay, yeah. That's for the fuel. Right. So that's why I saw gas going directly at the muffler because this is basically not doing anything. So it's either stuck... Probably stuck open or... Yeah. Or stuck shut. But whatever is happening, it's just uh, filling the cylinder head with fuel. And then that's just going right out the muffler. It's not going... The piston's not coming up and opening. I don't know. I, I, I had, haven't seen inside exactly, and I haven't looked at the charts. So I can't say exactly, but this is the back side of the valve. So the valves are opening and closing from that side, and the piston's coming up. So, but there's got to be push rods normally in between, I would think. That would cause that. Otherwise, what would have caused that valve to stop moving? So, pretty sure push rods. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I thought it was pretty interesting. First time in a hot minute um, I've had a chance to make <laughs> a video. I was just trying to see if I could turn the light on. Yes, I could have. Was that? Hold on. I'm just looking real quick. Yeah, it looked like a button for light. I don't know if it was. Would be nice to know for when it gets dark like this because you guys really can't see anything now. There it is. It's like it. It's like it knows it's dark, and it's giving me this icon for like a light, like a star. It looks like a star. Oh, okay, I see what that is. You know what that was? It was uh, just the um, um, screen brightness and darkness. But there's got to be an option here.